Guys, I'm not being funny, but look how absolutely mint that is. See, we're going to hop just off the end, off the end there, go off the furthest rock we can without getting wet, and just cast out right into those rollers over there. And that's that's where the, that's where the fish are. They love it. All that bait's getting churned up. So I mean, all I've got to do now, because we're literally pretty much pre-set up, is stick a weight on our weight clip, which we got in here. Step one. Oh no. Oh right, we got this. Done that the most awkward way possible, but there you go. I actually prefer these ones because on the on the reef you only got to break one out to free it off, whereas on the other ones you've got to pull enough to get both both un undone if you see what I mean. But I feel like that makes a bit of a difference. Uh, we we'll get our hook off now, which is there waiting for us. Sort of out about that mess. There you go. And then we're just going to lay that on the floor. And then we're going to get a squid on if they're defrosted enough. Which I hope they are. They're definitely not at all. So uh, these are the ones from yesterday. If we get a bit of salt water in there. These will defrost quick time. So I'm just going to fill this bag up with water. didn't take long because these are quite small guys there's no point sending that out what I'm gonna do is tie two together so we just want the heads just above each other on these and then a bit of bait elastic and that'll hold them together really well so I'll just put a bit around that just holds it in place then I can move it exactly where I want it tie one to the other almost just makes it the sort of same as a normal size one also find yourself a small point and then wrap it around that small point a load because it will tangle into itself and then it won't come off that's it all we've got to do now is just get that on the hook uh, which side? Uh, so we want to come out from this side. Same way as always. Through the front, through the side. I'll do it a bit more on this one and then I'll come out again, finish through the front. And we want to go through the body and out the head, just like that. See that? That's lovely. Go. So we're just going to hopscotch on out of there now, over them, what you can kind of see in front, and then we'll get our first cast off, right out into those rollers hopefully.
before you get soaked. It's that simple. So I'm up here, nice and flat. We're gonna keep the rod tip nice and high. I'll try and get it so you guys can see a bit of everything. And then we're literally just resting that rod tip, the butt of the rod on the bottom, like the sort of top of where your trousers do up and your top. What you can do if you want is pull your trousers out a bit and pull the rod, the rod like the butt of the rod down into them. And that way you've got a lot less, how do I say it? Um, like a lot less tension to like hold on to. I mean, this is this is just like for me. This is the funnest bit. This is just the waiting game. It looks like there's going to be a fair amount of weed here today, but that's fine. I'll keep the GoPro on for a bit in case we get into a fish nice and quick. But if not, I'll turn it off for a bit because I want to make sure I've got enough battery to kind of do 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 the trip. Right, the camera's back on because I just got a, like my leg just bounced about two meters towards me. So that 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 could have been a fish. So now we just we just waiting, just slowly wind down into it just to see if it was. But yeah, fingers crossed. That that was about probably about two or three minutes after I just turned like turned the camera off. It could have literally just been a bit of weed in the line and pulled the lead towards me, it could be anything, but you're always hoping it's a fish. What we're going to do is we're going to move from here over to there in a minute, because I've noticed that there's a lot more surf over there currently than there is where I am. Although the water here is still super oxygenated, maybe it's just not as good. So we'll do a cast here. Um, if we start getting bites, we'll do another cast here. If we get nothing, we'll move over there for the next bait up. So guys, look at that. It's even better down here when it's northerly and it's flat calm. I love it. Surface fishing, like poppers for bass, over a sunrise, it's just mental. That's it again now, guys. We're going to reel in because that's been out for a while and it's stupidly heavy, so I reckon I've got a load of weed on it. We'll see if it comes up. No. And I think I may have just lost my leader again. Let's hope not. Yeah, look, you can see where the lead has popped off. The knot ain't even broke, the line just cracked. Which is a shame, it just means we're gonna be fishing on straight braid again now. Guys, I've just moved again. We were over there a second ago. This is closer to where I was catching the fish the other day. I'm not sure if that's gonna make a difference. But again, I have literally just lost my whole, my whole leader, so we're fishing straight braid again. And I'm, from, from experience, I, I feel like this is a less snaggy mark. And that's going to play a big, a big role in whether or not we actually catch anything today, because currently our braid's going to be against rock, which isn't great. We got a fish on. Not sure what it is yet. No idea. Starting to feel like a nice fish. It's an eel. The one fish we don't want. Some people might say they save a blank, but I absolutely can't stand them. These, sometimes you get unlucky with these and they absolutely throw the hook. It's going to take me a while to get that out. I'm probably going to have to get the pliers out to do it. But if you leave them on there too long, they'll just spin up the line. And, and they'll, they'll literally make it to a point where that line is totally unusable. Devilish little things. Oh, 
caught me right into a snag. It's an eel again that's done that. There you go, he's off. He's off out of snag, but he's on. At least I think he's on. Yeah, he's on. Swimming towards us, so this could be a bass. It's a slightly different bite than the last one, so with a bit of luck it will be. We get some head banging, which is a good sign. Yeah, we got a bass. Good stuff. Looks like it's a schoolie. But we only just about managed to pull that out of the snag. This is what I mean by the schoolies down here. Cheers mate, just what I wanted. There he is. Smaller fish, but I think that's why we're just getting whack loads down there and not really much is happening. I'm literally just gonna put him straight back. This is the best bit, catching them and then just chucking them straight back. Cheeky little knife, no dive into the water and he's gone. We'll bait back up and try and get a bigger one. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting pushed back proper now, guys. That's a better one. Much, 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 much better fish. It's going to be hard landing it though because we are right over some rock that's protruding. So I'm going to have to get wet for this one, I'm afraid. Otherwise, we just ain't going to get it in. I'm not sure what to do here. I'd get it through this gully, that'd be great. What a fish. That's the hardest bass I've ever landed in my life. Whew. That's what we're here for, lads. Look at that. Next to a foot. Beautiful. I've got to get that bait back out. You know? <laughs> there he is, just, just through the lip. Look at look at that. That was barely in him. Well that's what we come in for. Nice big chunk of bars of silver, look at that. That's a big fish. And the surf is 100 percent the way to get the big ones. Guys, that was an absolutely beautiful bass. I just don't think I could have got him back in this surf, so it's been a while since I've taken my own for the table anyway, so it don't matter. Like, he was well in. Legally, you're allowed two. I'm only going to take one. But that, that's, that's what I mean by a better fish. Normally, they come up that kind of size. It's got me all excited now for another one. Like I say, the good marks 
like this are the ones that you look at and go well that's going to be well hard to land a fish in that because that's the best ground really and like i said earlier as soon as the tide starts flooding in like this it just i don't know what it is maybe it's the movement and the flow but that, that that gave a really good bite and an immediate but i to be fair i thought i was um i thought i was snagged so i i I tried to like nudge my lead, my lead a little bit and then just it just went boom 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 towards me and then I was like right I'll leave it there and then boom 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 towards me again so that little bit of movement I made on that bait must have just got that fish interested and he just smashed it because it was just in it like barely in his lip I'm lucky I got him on to, in to be fair because he got snagged over there then he got snagged again on the left and I just thought you know what I'm going to go knees deep and get this fish looking like we might have another fish on guys possibly I'm just I'm just waiting because this is probably going to be the last one so I want to make sure it's definitely a decent decent bite before I before I go for it but it is feeling pretty positive right now we got a fish on here guys and he's pulled me into a snack but if you look around me getting to the point now where it's getting dangerous i've got about a minute left and then i'm gone so i haven't got time to wait him out i might just have to break him off i'm not gonna risk it oh we're free and there's something bloody heavy on this i mean like super heavy i don't know what it is it's just be seaweed could be anything could be a real decent sized bass that's just tired pulling on the line. It's starting to feel a bit fishy. We snagged again. We're not snagged. We have got a fish on guys. Just come off. No, it was an eel the whole time. That is just super, super, super disappointing. There he is. Last fish of the day, guys. So, guys, that's pretty much it now. I'm going to get packed up and go home. Um, I'm probably just going to up this, upload this one as like a raw edit. So, we just crack on with the fishing and you guys let me know if you prefer like the edited stuff with the music or if you just prefer the raw edits. See you later.